where's the program taking us right now? And the answer is fear, shutdown, breakdown of the system. I go, we can learn or not. That's it. And this is a learning moment. Take your power back. You are beyond, uh, power-wise, beyond any virus that ever existed. Flu season comes every year. And I say, why is it related to the winter time? Uh, and it's an important reason to understand that the viruses that cause the flu generally function better at lower than body temperature. So uh, when we start breathing cold air in the winter, the respiratory tract gets cooler uh, because of the cold temperature than the rest of the body. Well, this makes these cells in the respiratory system pretty prime for a uh, viral infection, uh, especially that works at uh, lower, lower temperatures. So flu seasons come when winter shows up, uh, and then when winter goes away, the flu season disappears because that's not the, the best environment. So uh, we're facing a flu. Now the issue is this, is it a flu? The answer, it is a flu. Uh, they want to make it so special, like, oh, it's not a flu. It's, it's more than a flu. It's a flu, period. That's what it's about, okay? And the relevance about that is uh, every year we have flu season. It's every year. And I go, and I say, what about it? And I say, every year, about 0.1% of the population will die from the annual flu every year. So, uh, why is it so different this year than in previous years? And the, and the significance is this. The flus that come every year are really from the same types of viruses and that uh, a previous year's flu will mutate and then show up in the next year because it's uh, bypassed the immune system. But the point about it is this. There's an immunological memory of parts of the, all the different flu viruses that we've had for decades. Uh, and so when we have a regular flu, uh, the immune system can fight it, and most people end up with uh, coughing, sneezing, you know, a mild fever. That's the standard, the standard thing. But when the immune system is, is working, uh, it, it will easily cover it. I had a cold, that's <laughs> basically what I'm saying. I say, so what's so different about this year? And I say, the virus hasn't been around for, for years and years. It's relatively newly introduced into the human population. So most humans do not have an immunological memory to help alleviate the symptoms of the flu. So this year, the flu is a little more aggressive than previous years, only because most of us have not had a, an experience with this virus in the past. That's the nature of the game. So uh, then I say, well, how, how dangerous is this flu? Well, this is the part that is really freaky because um, the first thing is this, we equate the flu this season, the Corona uh, 2019 virus, uh, we, we equate it with mortality. It's like, what do you mean? I say, everyone's talking about, oh my God, we can die, we can die. And I go, well, you can die every year. <laughs> that's, that's not even different. I say, so what, what's different? I said, it's a little more aggressive. I say, so why is it relevant? I said, okay, the symptoms are a little more aggressive. I say, well, you die from the symptoms. I say, if you have standard medical treatment, even the aggressive form that causes respiratory distress is manageable. The fear that has been generated by this is the biggest problem of all because people have to understand about the immune system. The immune system is designed for internal protection. Anything that gets in my body, parasites, viruses, bacteria, the immune system's function is to fight that. And I say, um, does it use energy to have the immune system? I go, of course. Uh, if you've ever been really sick, you probably didn't have enough energy to get out of bed sometimes. I say, the immune system uses lots of energy. I go, so what? Well, then here comes the problem. There are two protection systems. The immune system protects me on the inside. The adrenal system, which is called fight or flight, protects me from threats on the outside. Fundamental principle is this. I distribute energy in the body where I need the energy. And when it comes to threats and survival, if it's a threat from the outside world, I need to put all the energy into that. Stress hormones shut down the immune system to conserve energy so I can run away from the threat. We're put into fear. And everybody who listens is now afraid. The difference between, let's say, last year's flu season, I'm coming on the news and I go, 
the flu season's back this year, and as usual, you know, you have to take care of yourself, and about 0.1% of the population uh, will have uh, severe problems with this, and, uh, and, you know, but that's annual. That's the way it is. Or I come on this year, and I say, my God, the flu is here. We're all going to die. <laughs> Millions of people are going to die, and all of a sudden, it's like, that's a different news report than last year. That scares the hell out of me. With the idea of attaching to that flu a, a fear of rampant death, that changes me from last year like, oh, I can get the flu. I get the flu every year. I cough. I sneeze. I'm okay. Everything's great. This year, oh, my God, if I get the flu, I'm going to die. Well, all of a sudden, I go, that is a profound change on the physiology of any listener who listens to that. When the system was designed, the only fears that we had was to run away from the saber-toothed tiger. Once you run away from that tiger, there's no, there's no more fear. I go, so fear was only used for a very short interval of escape. And I say, and what about today? And I go, today fear is 24-7, 365. The system was never, never designed for prolonged fear and stress as we are experiencing in today's world. And therefore, we have thrown this thing so out of balance uh, uh, just because the concept of the fear is all it takes to shut down the immune system. So stress exacerbated the problem. Those people who weren't under stress living under these lines have no problem. So stress is opening up our system from attack, from anything from electromagnetic fields to viruses. Uh, and we have to understand that stress is the bigger problem in the immune system. 